So when you were doing this, um, you you were uh, leaving a very cushy life, good job, really amazing salary. Uh, you, had, you, you, you had a family. Um, so just talk to me a little bit about the, the family, the family uh, dynamic, um, how you explaining it to your wife uh, and the role that she played when you were starting up this company. Yeah, so, so, so unlike now, you know, there was a husband and wife team with a division of labor, her husband was a breadwinner, wife was a homemaker, right? And so that was our, our, you know, our family setup. You know, she was a homemaker, with, you know, we had two children, I was you know, out there you know, making money for both of us. So once I, so the entrepreneurship is like, like uh, you know, you know, is the Hindi word the boot? Yeah, you know, once it grabs you, you know, it doesn't let you go. Uh, and, and and then it, it works on you. And so the, the issue was, you know, they were not any Indian entrepreneurs. Yeah, you know, and uh, you know, and I, my my thing was why not? You know, aren't we as good as anybody else? And by that time, I had become very con you know, convinced that you know, I'm as good or better than anybody in the valley as an engineer. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I thought of myself as best of the best. And I said, so, so what is stopping me from becoming an engineer? If you read my blog, there's a blog about a person by the name of uh, uh, David, uh, what was David's last name? Yeah, it, it's some, yeah, so here's the story. There was a person who used to work for me. And uh, yeah, he was an Englishman. Yeah, 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 he was yeah, a junior engineer under me. He worked for me for a couple of years and he left. He left and became, and then I signed the papers, you know, that he started to put on Alto Superiors. And, uh, you know, I can't remember David's last name, it will come to me in a minute. David, uh, you know, became an entrepreneur. And I, I think, oh, David is an immigrant. David is not as good as me. He left and became an entrepreneur. Why am I, you know, such here, why can't I be, be an entrepreneur? Yeah, and so almost everybody says Indians are not entrepreneurs, you know, Indians are engineers, Indians are techies. So there was this type task, and, and we, you know, we, we believed it. Yeah, you know, we are the Indians were, you know, you know, we were from middle class families, you're know, looking for a stable job, stable setup, right? Yeah, you know, and 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 uh, yeah, entrepreneurship is to, you know, you know, you leave your stable job, you know, it does it is all the ethos of Indian middle class. You know, beta settlers are beta responsible, but you know, yeah, 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 you're not, yeah, yeah, this notion of yeah, better discipline or uh, you know, so yeah, you're not settling down, you're at 35, you're, yeah, you're un, unsettled as a person, you want to do something, you know, you want to give up your you know, job, you want, yeah, so, so these are a very, you know, you know it's, it's strong it things to overcome personally, but I, I had. But I am telling myself I am as good as anybody out there. And how do I prove it? How do I prove it to myself? How do I prove it to them without doing it? Yeah. Right? Was that was that David Jackson you were talking about? David Jackson. David Jackson. That's it. Yeah. So the, you, know, you, you saw that blood there, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So um <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so David, so I so I, I use David Jackson now as a metaphor that you find your David Jackson to you know, destabilize you as a person. You need to be destabilized. Somebody has to knock you off from your routine, your daily your rut. You know, you don't have work, I got deadlines to do, I got a project to deliver, right? Yeah, so, so the life has this flow and routine, right? So something like David Jackson has to <laughs> hit you and, and knock you off your filter, right? That's interesting. Um, I, uh, so that's one, one, uh, forcing function for you to be, be an entrepreneur. There may be others, right? It may not be a person. It might be something else. So there's many different reasons, but oh, yeah. No, yeah. I was already feeling that I had hit the ceilings in terms of my uh, promotional possibilities. Indians were engineers and I was at the top run of, of being top notch engineer. There's no place to go. And so I was, yeah, I'm 35. There's no place to go. This is as far as, I will do it in life, right? And, and, and the people who are my bosses you know, ahead of me, uh, they were whites, but they were not very good, you know, you know, you know, in my opinion. But but yeah, you know, you know, but but they have a say over 
Yeah, I asked for, for yeah, why don't I become a manager? Our Indians are not managers. Yeah. Yeah. And there was this notion that nobody will work for Indians. Yeah. White guys, well, it was left unsaid. You know, nobody would work for Indians, you know, because Indians yeah, have not been bosses, right? Is yeah, this is before Sundar Pachai and 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 yeah, all these guys, you know, now, but back then, 1980, yeah, it would have been unthinkable. Indian CEO, 